What is up? It's the Figure Hunter, and today we have a review for the heart rate accuracy of the Polar Verity Sense. Is the Polar Verity Sense brand new? No. Is it old and has it been on the market for a while? Yes. But I wanted to go back in time and fully and rigorously test this for higher intensity workouts. Also, I just received the Koros Heart Rate Armband, Heart Rate Monitor. And this thing is actually super cool. At least the design is really nice. The comfort is really nice. So I wanted to compare and have a baseline of comparison. So I'm going back to test the Polar Verity Sense. If you like this review, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing for more on this channel. I test devices for higher intensity interval training and wellness and training load, as well as try to make sure a feature is competitive in the market that place that we're in right now. And all of my videos are no frills, just sort of straight to the point. So the Polar Verity Sense has been out for, I don't know, two years. It was the previous optical heart rate king when worn on the bicep versus some of the others that I saw in the market. But my testing wasn't uniform at the time. So I'm going back and I took it through a series of CrossFit workouts. And we're going to compare it to an ECG heart rate monitor, which is the gold standard for accuracy. And then I'm going to be able to compare it to the Koros heart rate monitor, the armband that Koros has just released to see how the accuracy stands up one versus the other, because I have really gotten tired of wearing a chest strap. I'm tired of wearing a chest strap. I just want an armband. So now we're going to figure out who is the best armband for keeping up with higher intensity. So we're going to go through a series of charts, first looking at a few basic steady state workouts and looking at the rigorous higher intensity fluctuant heart rate type workouts. And then we'll talk about the correlation. So like, how does it compare beat for beat across a multiple of heart rate beats across multiple workouts compared to the ECG chest strap? And then we'll talk about it in summary. So with that, let's dive in. Our first is going to look quick at steady state workouts. How did it keep up with those? It pretty much was perfect. Red is the Verity. Um, there's some weird drop off and a little bit of a difference in one point, but every, everything else pretty much in line. Same thing with this sort of steady state, low cardio, 130 beats per minute workout and this one. So even if you see a variance or difference, it's just sort of a timing difference and it really is statistically not important at all. And so now we're gonna look at the CrossFit high intensity interval training. These all included lifting as well as uh, metabolic conditioning. So you can see it had some bobbles actually. It did not, wasn't perfect even in that 140 beats slight below. And it definitely had some problems in the second half with the more intense portions. Here just had a gap in time as well as missed a couple of the peaks for the more intense workouts and missed the beginning of the metabolic conditioning where it spiked up. It did keep up just fine at the super high heart rates in that second part. Here tracked relatively perfectly on the metabolic conditioning portion, but did not on the lifting portion. This was high rep, heavy back squats, and it always seems to fail with any optical sensor. So you've got to keep up with the heart rate before it has changed directions. Here, this is a relatively perfect workout, you know, really nothing statistically, anything of, of any difference. And this one, again, a little bit off, you can see some lag time and otherwise it did excellently other than the start to the metabolic conditioning portion here. Same thing, relatively excellent other than the second start to the second half of that metabolic conditioning here, missed the peaks in some of the heavy lifting. This was heavy front squats. So again, not shaking things up too much because it did perfect on the metabolic conditioning, which is what's going to contribute to your, all your eight training analytics. Same thing here, a little gap on the start. So it's always having a gap at the real spike, the real change in direction. Um, this is the correlation graph. Now, one thing I'll say about correlation is you can see it's lag time in all of these. There's a lag time and the lag time is actually going to skew the correlation downward. It does have the rough same peaks in the same area underneath the peaks other than the start to that metabolic conditioning. So the correlation is going to be off, but not necessarily off because it just had a lag time, but it's the same volume of cardiovascular impact. So you have to look at that in, in light of what we see in the charts. So correlation graph, this is just the CrossFit high intensity interval training. You can see 0.9248. This is basically below the Garmin Elevate 5.0, which is on the Pro Series of watches, um, as well as the Vin, uh, Vinny 3. And this is below the Apple Watch, obviously Apple Watch Ultra, as well as even the AmazeFit Balance. But overall, 
we can see from the charts that this is excellent other than some of the heavy lifting where it couldn't keep up with an intense short burst. Whenever I'm under heavy load, it seems like the blood pressure shoots up and that isn't picked up. Uh, the heart rate isn't picked up under those circumstances for an optical heart rate sensor. And then a lot of the correlation graph is going to be affected by the lag we see, sort of the gap in time between, but it's the same flow. So it's the same cardiovascular, you know, importance. It's just the lag time creates a little bit of a gap. So there you can see, you know, definite gaps across all of it. But either way, all of it looks to me excellent, reliable, fully. I was surprised it came out a little bit lower on the correlation number at 0.92. But either way, that's where it is for the Verity Sense. So what do we see in summary? There's two things that I want you to see. Number one is not see the 0.92 correlation as really any kind of issue, but do see all the charts because the reality was is it picked up 98% or not you picked up a high percentage of the intensest most intense portions of the workout did it have blips yes is it perfect no but would it capture let's say 95% of the cardiovascular strain that your workout actually impacted you with yes it would definitely keep up now the correlation is 0.92, which is a high correlation in today's world, but it's not the highest, even compared to optical sensors like worn on the wrist, like this right here, the Garmin FX Pro 51 millimeter did better in one for one comparison to an ECG chest strap. And then obviously the Apple Watch did even better, but take that for what it's worth. And now we have a baseline. The Polar Verity Sense correlation is 0.92 as we go into the finalization of the testing of the Coros a uh, heart rate monitor armband, and we'll compare the two head to head and talk about it then. So with that, that's the heart rate accuracy of the Polar Verity Sense. It's a figure hunter. Thanks so much for watching.